Hey guys, what's up? My name is Joe Bunn, the founder of Bun Gear, and I just want to take a couple of minutes to show you how to put together your command center. I get this question all the time. How long does it take to set up? I would say once you get it down, five minutes at the most, 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you exactly how to put it together today. You see the different pieces laid out here around me. Normally the top and the laptop stand go in one bag, then the base plate, which is here on the floor, and the rack go in the other bag. And then it comes with eight of these thumb screws, which is all you need to assemble the booth. So here's how it goes together. So you've got your threaded holes here on the base plate, and then you're just gonna take your rack here and you can either line up the big hole in the base plate or the smaller holes where your screws are gonna go through. And then do a little bit of sliding around so you can see that you're lined up. I'll pull out my thumb screws. So what I do is just put them in loosely at first. I don't screw them all the way down. So once I have all four of the thumb screws loosely in the bottom, then I just go through and tighten them all up so that you're not moving around at all. While we're down here, you'll notice this is the shelf that comes with your essentials bundle. And the beauty of this shelf is one, it can hold a mixer or a piece of gear, whatever you want it to. It also prevents the booth from kind of being twisty because again, this is aluminum. So make sure you put the shelf somewhere in here, even if you're not going to use it because it gives your rack and your booth overall a little bit more stability. So here we go, moving on to the top. You can see this is our little bridge system that allows you to control the height of your controller so that it sits flush with the lid, which we're gonna put on in a minute, but we put these little handles here. So if you wanna pick up your top like that, and then you're just gonna do the same thing you do on the bottom. You line up the big hole, which then helps you line up the small holes like that. If you did have your controller mounted in here, which a lot of people leave the lighter controllers like the DDJ-1000 or the Flex 10, you obviously couldn't come in from this way, so you would just reach in from here to do your screws. But either way you do it, I just do them loosely at first. And then now that they're all in, I'm just gonna go through, screw them all in tightly, but not crazy. Number three, and then number four. Let's move on to the next step. Next thing you'll do is install your Bun Gear laptop stand. You're simply gonna go through whichever hole, wherever you've got your green thing, the technical name for it, and go through the booth hole, and then all the way through the green things until it touches the bottom of the booth. And then these two screws here on the green thing are what you're gonna tighten up to clamp down so you don't get any of this spinning. Again, just hand tighten, nothing too crazy. You don't have to crank down on them, and again, that stops your spin. Now we're moving on to the final step. Last step is going to be to put your controller up here on the rails or the bridge, whatever you wanna call it, kind of center it up a little bit. Then next, grab your PVC lid, which is custom cut for your controller. This is obviously a DDJ-1000. Set it down, this needs to come over just a little bit. Shift it down a little bit. Do a little bit of adjusting. Push down, around, still needs to come down a little bit. And there you have it. So I hope that explains how to put together the Bun Gear Command Center. A few other just notes on this video before we wrap it up. Uh, like I said, a lot of people leave the smaller controllers or the lighter weight controllers Velcroed into that rail system with a deck saver on top and transport it like that inside the bag. I think that's totally okay. Your Rain 1s, your Rev 7s, your spinning top controllers, I wouldn't recommend it. Too much weight, too many moving parts, wouldn't recommend it. A couple other things to note, the laptop stand can be on the right, the middle, or the left. In fact, if you wanna order extra laptop stands, you could do another one for laptop on one, iPad on the other. And then finally, this video may not apply to you at all if you're gonna leave it fully assembled and just put it on a dolly or a hand truck and roll it in. A lot of users, including myself, use that method and just had some custom covers. 
built to go over the top of it and don't use the bag at all. That's certainly up to you as well. So that's it. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions about the product, simply email me at contact at and I'll get right back to you. Thanks.